Alright. How's everybody doing tonight? This beautiful Thursday. Well, at least it's beautiful where I am. Uh, weather's quite nice. Tonight we're going to be playing some Satisfactory. Hopefully working our way towards nuclear. The title might be a little bit deceiving because I feel like we're actually still quite a few episodes away from nuclear, but we can at least take a look. First thing I'm going to do is eat some food because I am low on health and that just started bothering me for some reason. Alright. So, we still need the hazmat suit and batteries and sulfuric acid. And then we can unlock supercomputers and drones and sulfuric acid. And then we can get uranium fuel rods and nuclear power plants when we have 50 supercomputers. So we do need this unlock, which requires radio control units. And radio control units require, um, well, actually stuff that we already have. We don't have a ton of uh, crystal oscillators, but we don't need a ton of crystal oscillators. I only need 25 to finish this milestone. Yeah, okay, so this is actually not as bad as I thought, but something I want to start with is uh, the filters, because I think I mentioned this a while back. Um, I am in desperate need of gas filters, and I don't, I don't have any. So I need to make a bunch of fabric, which means I need biomass and mycelia. And we have a decent amount of mycelia here should also get rid of a few things. And then we need to grab some biomass, which we can get a bunch extra from this wood here. So I'm going to do that real quick. We can make so much biomass out of wood. I'll just get a couple stacks. And that should do it. Right at 200. Bam. Okay. And then I want to make fabric. Which, with two ticks, honestly, I think I'm just going to handcraft this. I probably could automate this. It wouldn't be very difficult, but it's also not too hard to just make this and get on with our life. Eventually, we'll probably want to unlock the alternate recipe or fabric that uses the, I keep forgetting what it's called, the polymer resin. That's what it's called, the blue stuff that you get as a byproduct from oil, from oil things. Uh, you can use that plus, is it coal? I can't remember. Polymer resin plus something. Oh, I don't have it, so I can't see it. But yeah, there is an alternate recipe to make fabric that makes it so you can fully automate the process, but Honestly, doing this once in a while isn't all that bad. So I'm going to start with 100, and then we should be able to make one of our gas masks, which we've needed for a while. And then filters require, I think, five. Yeah, gas filter requires five coal. Okay, two fabric and 100 rubber, or I mean two rubber. I have 100 rubber. So we'll make some more fabric, and I may need to go mushroom hunting again and get a few more 100 mycelia, but we'll just start with like 20, 20 filters should be good. And then we'll carry this stuff around with us when we go on excursions, and that will allow us to stay safe from those poison clouds, which has been kind of ridiculous that it's taken me this long to get around to it. All right, let me go grab some coal. Uh, where would be the nearest source of coal? Probably this way. And I can just run over to whatever building takes coal as an input. Take 100 from there. Okay, and now we want some gas mask, or no, some gas filters. Alright, well that will help us out. 
next time we go adventuring. Let me put all this stuff back in. Um, don't need the fabric, but I think I want the rest of it. I also should probably ditch some of my encased industrial beams. Now that we have hundreds and hundreds of all clad aluminum sheets, I don't think I'm ever... Yeah, I mean, we're, we're almost full on this. I don't think I'm ever going to give one crap about uh, using these for belts again. And look at that, we've got a healthy amount of heavy modular frames for the first time in our lives. Uh, so I'll just take these out. Replace all that, and... Yeah, that's looking better, and I also don't need all these modular frames, but that's already full. I'll just throw this up in the awesome sink. Ooh, and we should upgrade this belt. So we can get rid of things at an even faster rate. Uh, we'll do that. I think one stack of pipes and beams is also fine. And look at how fast that goes. That thing honks. Also, I have 39 coupons, so let's, uh, let's see what we can buy with that. Uh, indoor lighting. Why not? Add to cart. Foundations expansion pack. Didn't I already get this? Maybe not. Uh, floodlights, lights control panel, street lights. Why not? We'll get some street lights. Windowed walls look cool. Uh, conveyor walls, probably nice to have. Conveyor wall mount, actually, and uh, pipeline wall mount might be handy to have. I don't care too much about wall power outlets. And then ramps. I think we want the inverted ramp pack. And the double ramp pack that makes nicer, nicer looking ramps. And what are we up to? Oh, look at that. I can get 25 gas filters for one coupon. That's very nice. And I can even get ammunition. That's very tempting. But. Parachutes, health packs. I can get 100 fabric for three, which makes 50 gas filters for three, which is worse than buying gas filters. So I guess that's kind of bad. I could even get batteries, but man, that's kind of expensive. Five coupons. Because coupons are weird because they get more expensive as you go. So like, I could get some turbo motors to unlock something, I guess, if I wanted to unlock something early. I can't get supercomputers though, maybe because I haven't unlocked the recipe yet. Anyway, we will buy all, unlock all that stuff just for fun, and we need to automate the casing. That's what I need to do next. So first I'm going to restock all my items, because I think I'm short on a few things here. We'll make sure we've got plenty of copper, or er, uh, iron plates, iron rods, reinforced plates, copper wire, copper sheeting. We'll have two stacks just in case we need to build some piping. Uh, I like two stacks of the concrete, three stacks of cable. And then on this side, I want to make sure we've got 100 rotors, which we actually do. Get rid of the extra 24. Stack of pipes, stack of beams, stack of frames, stack of heavy frames. Two stacks of encased beams, a stack of motors, a stack of computers. And is that it? Oh yeah, and plenty of all cloud aluminum sheets. Probably 800, because this is what I'll make belts out of. And then while I'm thinking about it, we want to provide to make some more crystal oscillators. 
So we need reinforced plates and cable. Well, the good news is we have lots of both. So I'm going to queue up a few... I don't know about a few thousand, but maybe around a thousand. Uh, here. I believe my reinforced plates factory needs to work a little bit harder. So we're just going to take everything. And we'll put those all in here. And then I also want to grab some cables. And I also have about 10 billion cables out when we needed a bunch for the, whatchamacallit, space elevator phase, so I'm fine with literally taking all of the cables. Oh, perfect. Look at that. I got to keep exactly the amount I wanted, which is 600. All right, and then this guy will work on making crystal oscillators at two per minute so that I can have plenty. Let me get rid of these fix-it coupons, and then we will start building some things. Oh, I do need some rubber and whatchamacallit. Um, what do you call it? Rubber and plastic. So we'll go grab some of that real quick. Since I don't come over here as often, I'll go with two stacks of each. And I've got plenty of fuel for now since I'm using the hover pack to get around. And we still have an extra like 15 inventory spaces, so that's pretty nice. All right, so the next thing I want to automate is radio control units. So that needs computers, crystal oscillators, and aluminum casing, which is just aluminum ingots, basically. So I think I'll make that over in the aluminum area. Which we will fly over in this direction. Oh, dang it landed on a belt. Okay, well that's fine. So those are all cloud aluminum sheets. So then I guess I could build out over this region. This region's not used. I like to use verticality. Ooh, I just realized something. So that fun method of building well, I don't know if fun is the right word, but the, the very effective method that I've been using where I build by aiming straight at the foundations, I can just use the hover pack to do that now. So we're going to build out this way and all across. And I think I can just hover, although we do want to be careful that we have power pole connections here because I don't want to fall down into the abyss. But I should just be able to now look straight at the foundations. Gotta make sure I'm flying at the right height. And then we can just build straight across. Easier than ever. Look at that. This is almost as good as blueprints. <laughs> Still not as good as blueprints, though. Man, wouldn't it be nice to just be able to plop down a 10x10 foundation in one click? It would be nice. Okay, I literally almost just fell. The hover pack only has like one bar of connection. Alright, so then we want casing in this area. Now, currently, all cloud aluminum sheets are only being used for my belt construction. And I think I automated 120 aluminum ingots per minute, which means there should be an excess of 60 aluminum ingots per minute. And unless I'm missing something, these are just going to be made in a constructor. 
So let's do that. Oops. Okay. Instructor, how fast do these work? Oh, quite fast. Wow, I literally will only need like one constructor doing that. Maybe right here. And then what is that casing used in? I need to double check. A little research thing. I can't remember if we need to actually be collecting aluminum casing. Yeah, 50, 200, 100. Okay, so a few hundred will be used for milestones, but other than that, it's mostly just used in recipes. So I don't, I don't think I'm gonna store it in my logistics. Um, okay, so we'll automate casing. Oh my gosh, unlocking the hazmat suit needs 50 filters. Okay, I will definitely need some more fabric. Which means some more mycelia. But the real thing is the radio control units, which require 16 casing each. So, yeah. So what I think I'll do is I'll automate the ability to make all 120 ingots into casing. That way, once our all clad aluminum sheets back up, we can fully utilize our current aluminum production. But that means the production rate here is gonna be 40. Um, is that right? Why is my numlock not working? Oh, that's weird. Uh, 40, 1.5, yeah. 40. Okay. So then this will run over here. I'm not even going to bother doing this fancy. Connect power lines. That should be it. That's literally all it takes for 80 aluminum casing per minute. Cool, cool. And then we need a manufacturer. This big boy is going to be making the radio control units. Who knows? I may bring computers over, but for now, I'm just going to settle for smaller doses. Why does it keep... My OBS is telling me that my encoding is overloading. I wonder if I need to turn the graphics settings down more on this game. So I feel like that's becoming more frequent. Okay, so we'll do a couple storage containers here. I guess I can also make sure we've exited all possible. Programs that are running. I think we're good. All right, so this will be computers and oscillators and then we'll have a another storage container just to hold a few hundred of those casings we'll connect this up And then we'll split off. I actually want that to be a smart splitter. I haven't used a lot of smart splitters lately. I feel like a good base uses more smart, smart splitters. And I just think my base is not a good base. <laughs> so we want overflow there. So that way we're not underproducing. And it does so happen that we're only bringing in aluminum ingots that aren't going into these two buildings. So I will need to back up on all clad aluminum sheets. But I would expect, yeah, that's starting already. So pretty soon we'll be backed up on all clad sheets. And now I need to go grab some computers and some of the oscillators. So just to review the radio... 
Control units cost half of a computer, half of an oscillator each. So I'll start with 500 radio control units, which will be 250 computers. One, two, three, four, five. And then 250 oscillators, which I do believe we have. Uh, not quite. I have 222. So I guess we'll just start with 200. But those will be crafting. Slowly. Also, I just realized this, but our power is right on the edge there at the moment. So eventually we're going to have to uh, focus on turbo fuel to get some serious power generation going. But we might actually get to nuclear before that stage. I don't know. We are approaching nuclear at this point. Okay, so computers... Yeah, it lags a lot over here. It probably is these glass foundations. So we'll just do 200 of each. And then we need to power this thing up. Radio control unit, and there we go. 2.5 per minute, ain't bad. Let me kind of jump start it with some of the casing we've already made. In fact, I can put this back in. And because this is overflow, it will. Oh, well, never mind. That's already full, but it will fill this up first. All right, so we need 50 radio control minutes, so that's only, or radio control units, which is only 20 minutes of production. So that will be done fairly soon. I should probably take this opportunity to go get some more mycelia. So we're just going to connect this up to a storage container. And that will get us some radio control units. And what else did I need to unlock? Let me double check. I know it was for supercomputers. Oh, it was the sulfuric acid chain. And that requires 50. Oh, for some reason I was thinking it was this one that required the 50. So we'll be there in no time. I'll just put that on the milestone so I don't forget. And then I'm going to go try to find some more mycelia. I do have biofuel and I do have my chainsaw, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, I just have to remember where where we last saw mushrooms. I think there were some... I mean, I know there's some way out here, but that's pretty far away. Let's just fly in this direction. And we'll see if there... Hey, there's more limestone right there. And still not seeing mushrooms. Still not seeing mushrooms. Okay. Well, I didn't see anything on that flight. I think there's a bunch of stuff in this purple forest that we can... We can use. There's also some more. Wow, there's two limestone nodes down there. Three? Is that what, another one over there? Uh, logistics foundations. So I'm gonna make another little launching pad. if we can cut those down and if that gives us a crazy amount of mycelia or not i just want to double check that i've gotten this drop pot yes okay of course these enemies respawn which is real annoying so the last thing i need is more of these fireflies where did they go i swear there was a couple more that we failed to kill but I think these things give us mycelia. They do. They look like coral, to be honest. Like coral reef stuff. 
Uh, I do want to get rid of the limestone. Probably a couple other things, like those 17 uh, encased beams. And probably want to get rid of... I don't know. Some wire. I just want to clear up as much space as I can. Okay, 14 mycelia. That's not very much, actually. But it'll work. These also give me silica, but I don't really need silica. Alright, alright, we're getting there. 120 mycelia. How's the inventory looking? Okay, we still got plenty of space. So I said I needed 50 gas masks for that next hazmat research, which is necessary to start handling uranium. And 50 gas masks, when each one requires two fabric, is, um, how much fabric? Well, that's 150 times two. But then, hold on, I'm confusing myself. Okay, so gas mask, or sorry, filter, requires two fabric. And fabric requires one mycelia. So we do only need a hundred mycelia for all of that. But knowing how much fabric we're probably going to need for the nuclear filters, I'm just going to keep going for a little while here. Okay, we're starting to get a little full. We can ditch all this limestone. And honestly, we can ditch the silica, because that's not doing anything for me. We have infinite silica. And I actually need the gas mask. Fancy that. Can I cut these down? I wish I could. Okay. Well, we are getting a good amount of mycelia, that's for sure. We're at 300 now. All right. Get rid of the useless stuff again. I don't need leaves. Um, we'll keep going a little bit further. I'd rather run out 30 hours from now than five hours from now. Uh, here's some more over here. How's it going, Irondale? Good to see ya. Welcome to the satisfactory good times. Okay, so 466 mycelia, I think I will stop there. Just kidding. I need more. Okay, so we're gonna go back home. I think I just like holding a barrel nut. Makes me feel comfortable and safe. Alright, jetpack. Wait, am I crazy, or do you walk slower with the jetpack than with the gas mask? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, walking. I'm gonna walk in a straight line. And then equip the jetpack. I feel like that slowed me down. Did it not? Gas mask? Okay, no, I am crazy. Just kidding. For a second, it... I perceived, I think incorrectly, that uh, that made me walk slower. All right. You know, I should build a launching station up here for future, future launchings. Okay. 
Okay, why don't you come over here? Yeah, haha, <laughs> you don't have a jetpack. Sucks to be you. Alright. So we can boost our way back home. So that launching station will take us to this launching station. Which I'll need to build kind of out from this section. And this one should be able to get us either most of the way home or all the way home, even. It's amazing how fast those Mark V belts go. Oh yeah, all the way home. Look at that. With some to spare. Alright, so what do we need? We need coal. Um, I still don't think I have coal anywhere in a chest. I probably should put it in a... some form of storage somewhere. Because all I can ever do is grab 100 at a time. And 100 is only enough for a few filters. What I'm going to do is a lazy solution, just for now. We'll put a storage container for coal right here. Just kidding. We're going to put a storage container for coal right here. And that will fill up and consume quite a bit of our coal, so I'm going to move some of that in so that we don't have to lose a few thousand coal. I just want a few stacks to store up. Probably five stacks is more than I'll ever need, so we'll just let that build up. Alright, let's do some more handcrafting, our favorite thing. I'm going to make some fabric, which I can't do here. That has to be in the crafting bench. Oh wait, we need biomass. Uh, you know what I can do is just make biomass from all the stuff I just brought back with me. Or I could put the leaves in the wood in my biomass generator. But that's fine. Okay, that's not enough space in inventory. Cool. So fabric, I am going to toss down an assembler for this. I probably shouldn't automate fabric forever. Or I mean handcraft fabric forever. So fabric, and we'll just give it enough for, I guess the most we can do is buy biomass, which is going to give me uh, 20 each time I feed stuff in. That's pretty fast. That's about as fast as I can handcraft it. And I can just keep feeding it biomass. So to get that biomass, I guess I'll take the rest of the wood out of here. Because I'm never really going to use biomass again. Except for the occasional biofuel to fuel the chainsaw. Alright, we keep filling up our inventory because we're holding silica that we don't need and lots of other things, like screws. Why am I holding screws? I don't even know where those came from. And all those leaves, I don't need those leaves. The alien care pace, same story. 
So we'll get rid of a few more of those. This, this, and this. Helps a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Let's feed this some more. And I misspoke. It will be 40 fabric, because 5 times 20 is only 100. But we can get 200 biomass, so... That's actually not too bad. And then I can make right here a bunch more filters. So we need 50 for the actual unlock. And then we need probably 20 more to have on hand. Okay, so that's 50. What else did I need? So we want this one. Oh, Caterium wire. I actually need to go grab some more of that. And then 50 of the casing. So we'll grab some more Caterium, some casing, and we should be good to go. Let's see what we've built up to. Oh! We already have 36 radio control units, that's nice. And casing, we have 400. That should be more than enough. And then we need Caterium, which is beneath this little factory. Okay, I'm happy just holding 500, because we only need six every time we build a power pole, so that'll get me about 90 power poles. And now we will get our hazmat suit unlocked. Bingo! Milestone reached. With the new hazmat suit and iodine-infused filters, you will be protected against uranium-based radiation. Nice. And three more inventory slots, which is always nice. So now we'll go back to this unlock. I might as well feed it the... Oh, I can't until it comes back. Uh, so let's check out those new recipes. The iodine-infused filter requires a gas filter, aluminum casing, and eight quick wire. So not too difficult. I'll just probably handcraft a bunch of those. And then the hazmat suit is a bunch of stuff I already have. Sweet. 50 fabric, 50 rubber, 50 plastic. Okay. So we just have to keep making all this fabric over here. I might actually have everything for a hazmat suit already. I'm just short one fabric. Give me that. There it is, hazmat suit. Nice. All right, so we got that. Now, what I'm wondering, this is something I probably should know. Do the iodine infused filters actually help against the poisonous gas or only nuclear radiation? So like, and can you use the iodine infused filters with the gas mask or can you only use it with the hazmat suit? These are the questions I do not know the answer to. But we've got a lot more fabric to play with now, so that's good. So we needed some of the casing, which we thankfully have. So there we go. 13 iodine-infused filters. Now these guys, I think we're gonna need more of because when I'm like dealing with nuclear, with, with belts that have, you know, uranium ore on them, that's gonna require me to be around radioactive material like all the time. So I actually might, I might end up using that alternate recipe if I can find it soon. Haven't done a hard drive hunt in a while. We're definitely going to need to do that. 
For now, I'll just craft all these that I can, but... That will be something that's on the list for the future. Uh, why can't I... Am I out of coal? I bet I'm out of coal. Yes. Good thing I have 500 right here. Bam. Wow, look at... So when you're riding the hover pack, you can select buildings from a lot farther away. I think that's something I maybe have noticed before, but haven't really put together like it's felt easier to to you know like click on buildings to configure stuff so that's a hidden bonus of the hover pack that is very nice so far okay well this is enough for 34 gas filters so that should get me probably enough to at least fetch uranium ore And then after we do aeronautical engineering, we can finally make supercomputers. And once we can make supercomputers, we can move towards unlocking nuclear. So I'll finish making these iodine filters. We will unlock aeronautical engineering. We'll grab some more quick wire. And then... I don't know what we'll do at that point. I guess we'll see what we need to make supercomputers. They are not cheap. I think I will basically just be making the, the exact 50 that I need. Back when I, the last time I made kind of the, a large base and got to the end of the game, supercomputers were the most advanced thing you could make. So that was a very long time ago. All right, so let's go grab some more quick wire and we'll see if we have the 50 radio control units yet. We do. We have exactly 50. What are the odds? All right, we'll grab some more casing while we're here. We'll grab some of the deuterium, quick wire. And then uh, I think that's all I need, right? Sweet. All right. So next, oh, we need the motors. Motors are in this one. Nope. Someday I'll remember where things are. Two, three, four, five, six. That's actually quite a few motors. That'll take a while to recoup. I think our motors are like 10 per minute or less. But there we go, aeronautical engineering. Sweet. Milestone reached. Aerial transport of resources is now possible with the use of drones, ideal for shipping across long distances or difficult terrain. Ensure the presence of batteries at drone ports for optimal results. A new project part enables progress to the next phase. Alright, alright. Cool, cool. So now I can build drone ports, which are those in transportation probably? Yeah, drone port. Okay, so that needs 20 high-speed connectors, 10 radio control units. Drones can have one other port assigned as their destination. Transports available input back and forth between its home and destination. And then a drone requires a minor radio control unit. Okay, not too bad. So this is probably how I will want to transport uranium. And that way we can keep the radioactive stuff in the air. But the problem is I need batteries. Now batteries require alumina solution and sulfuric acid, which is sulfur plus water. And then you get some amount of water back, which is annoying yet again, because that's hard to deal with. You know, I wonder, we were curious about this whole water situation with like, is gravity gonna make this work better? And so far, it seems like it is working. So that does answer that question. There is a way to prioritize water. If you pump the water you want to use first to a high elevation, and then have it kind of drop down onto the water you want to take priority over, then this water is going to get used before this water, because this water is at a higher elevation. So I believe that that all is working correctly. 
Now the alumina solution we have here, we could use that to make batteries and I have sulfur coming in on this line right here. So it's not too crazy to make a few batteries over here. I don't know um, how many batteries the drones require and like, ooh, I just lost my hover pack. Electricity. So I don't really know like how easy is it to automate batteries. I want to say they use like a few batteries per trip, like 10 or 20 or 30. Um, but a battery by itself is not that expensive and it's made at 20 per minute in a blender. So I think if I can just set up one blender, that'll make me happy. So all we need is one blender and one refinery to set this up. So I think I'll do that real quick. I do want to check out these drones. They look cool. Uh, this power line is no good. We need to attach to here. So then the refinery, I'll build it back just a little bit. Maybe right here. Production, refinery. Okay, we'll build it right here. This will be for sulfuric acid. Bam, and then we need a blender, which requires five radio control units. I don't think I knew that. This will be the first blender I've ever built. And it requires 50 casing, so I just learned that my assumption that we didn't use casing for anything was wrong. We do use it for a couple buildings, so I probably should ship this all the way back over there. It's just so annoying to do that. Okay, blender, we'll go here. Probably need a decent amount of space for all the inputs and outputs. Now thankfully this makes just sulfuric acid. So we'll... We'll bring the casing back and around. The sulfuric acid will be connected with a pipe, like so. And the alumina solution will be split from this, like so. We'll have the, whatever it's called, casing come this way. Turn around the corner. Do this. We'll come this way. I don't really care about how inefficient this is. Sue me. Okay, and then uh, how do we want to do this? Let's redo this yet again. This time we'll do a regular splitter and this will be a smart splitter. That overflow will go in here to the right. Now it looks like we're slowing down on this. Is that, wouldn't all cloud aluminum sheets have backed up by now? These are backed up, so what's, what's the hold up? Are we not getting our full 100%, 100%? Okay, we are. We are getting our full uh, one, 120 per minute. So, I'm not... Shouldn't that be making... Shouldn't these be at 100%? Oh, they are at 100%. That's just not enough casing to handle... Well, that's 40 per minute. Oh, so it's exactly half. That's why I kept seeing this kind of leaving some space, but that's because it's exactly halfsies. So then... We'll provide... To the left, which is batteries, and then the overflow of that will go towards 
whatever it's called. Um, storage. All right, so that's everything I need, except we need to attach the actual sulfur. And then connect this to power. And then we just need to bring sulfur over, oh, and water. But we have water from over here. So we'll supply another pipe. to right here. Try to connect that. Oh, that's pretty ugly. Maybe we can go over if we go up as high as we can. Connect to here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then sulfur is down here, which we've got plenty of, because so far this is the first thing I'm actually using sulfur for. So we'll just split off of this belt, and work our way over. We want. Oh, we can't get. Can't quite get there. How's this? Perfect. Is that clipping? Or does it, no, it goes under. Okay, and then we want a conveyor lift. So we'll come all the way out to the edge and do a conveyor lift down. Probably like that. And hook these up. And that should do it. Sulfuric acid is a go. And that makes 50 per minute, which is, I think, way more than we're going to need. Oh, it's actually exactly what we need. For 20 batteries per minute. And then the water output, we need to... Well, first of all, we need some foundations here. Um... And I just built one way over there. The water output we need to have connect to this water output. Yes. So thankfully this is close where it needs to be. So can this connect back here? It can. Beautiful. So this pipeline will get rid of water because we've got this pump over here that pressurizes it as much as possible. So then that will take care of the wastewater. And then for now, I'll just start storing the batteries in a industrial container. I keep saying industrial. I can just say storage container. Industrial storage containers are even bigger. And then we'll hook that up to the invisible storage container. And we've got batteries. Aha. So the problem is the Illumina solution, which makes sense. Because... Also, how am I out of water? I can't possibly be using too much water. Uh, that feels weird. We have like 8 million water pumps way out there. The floor right here is 400. So, what is it possibly... Oh, there we go. No, it's still, sh it's still short. Something's fishy. I broke something. Huh. Oh, 
Oh, is this using all the water? No, that's only 10 per minute. We can't possibly be using all the water. We can handle up to 600 per minute on this pipeline. This should have, like, easily 100 water. Because since this is making a luminous solution, what I was going to say is we actually want to overclock it, potentially. Now, I also just realized a problem. We are using a uh, more alumina solution, but not using more silica. So, what we actually need, this looks crazy, but trust me, it'll work, is this. So what this will do, and I don't like that pole going through the middle, but what this will do is it will split each five silica into two sets that each get priority so essentially this will allow for more of the silica from alumina solution to be used in making aluminum scrap compared to because previously we would use at most half and we'd use half of the silica from kind of the quartz area but now this will take half of the silica and then half of that will only be from the home area, and the other half will be from this thing, if it's really backed up. So I believe that will help with the potential problems. Um, the water seems to be fine now. I don't know exactly what happened. I don't know if it was just this pipe filling up, potentially. That might have been all it was. Because I did add a long length of pipe, so maybe it was just the filling of this and everything, I guess. I don't know. It seems to be running at 100% now. And filling up quickly afterwards. So, I guess we'll chalk that up to who knows what. And Illumino Solution, we are still short on... This needs 240 per minute. Huh. Is this just because aluminum scrap has to back up first? I bet it is. Once this backs up and this slows down, then we'll get some more alumina solution. Yeah, pouring in. And that's what we need for batteries to finally start. Yeah, because then that'll stop. We'll get more alumina solution. Because really, you can't use gravity as a prioritizing system in liquids because the alumina solution is always going to flow into this building before it starts flowing up this little corner and around into the battery production plant. So this has to get a little bit more full. I'm guessing 50 is the limit. I think 50 is usually the limit for fluids. So once that gets to 50, which we'll see here in a second, then it'll stop. And now Illumina Solution will actually build up a little bit in this pipe, which should give our blender a little bit, please. Hey, it's, yeah, it's at one. There we go. Okay. Well, that's all I needed to see to officially know that we've automated batteries. And now, I guess the goal is to go get uranium ore, right? What's the goal? Did I ever... Did I unlock supercomputers? I did. Okay, we can do this. I will have to handcraft 150 high-speed connectors. So maybe I should not do that and build a manufacturer for them. Ugh, I really don't want to do that. But we do very much need supercomputers. I wonder if I can just handcraft 50 supercomputers. Is that crazy? Are you guys going to call me crazy? I probably am crazy. They're 24 clicks, so that is quite a few. <laughs> That's like a thousand ticks. Right? Because 20 times 10... 24 times 10 is 240 times 5. Yeah, that's like 1200 or something. Um... So, what comes first... Oh, we finished tier 7, I guess. That's worth noting. 
So nuclear power is our milestone. And 50 supercomputers is what we need. Which means a bunch of high-speed connectors. Now high-speed connectors require quick wire, cable, and circuit boards. Yeah, let's not let's not deal with that. Let's let's go get uranium ore. That sounds more fun. We'll try out our new drones, we'll get uranium ore, and then we'll we'll worry about all the complicated crafting in the next episode. So where is a good place for nuclear power? Because I feel like it should actually be I don't know, maybe like up there? Just very far away, because the the more nuclear waste you have, the more it uh, pollutes. Also, I need to fix this. I'm going to fix this once and for all. So that I cannot be accused of horrible clipping. So what I'll do is I'll actually run this underneath the trains. Aha! And then go back up to there. There we go. No more clipping. Um, yeah, so the nuclear waste is very radioactive from what I have heard and seen. So we want the nuclear power plants to be pretty far away, but we also want them to be at pretty low elevation because we need to pump water to them. So I feel like out here is actually kind of reasonable, potentially, out to the west. So I want to build the drone port. The reason I'm doing all this is because I want to build the drone port for nuclear power. So I think maybe I will go this direction. And for a drone port, we need... We need what? So we're going to need two of these. So I need some more heavy modular frames, some more control units. And then... High speed connectors. And then for the actual drone... I needed two AI limiters, which we can make pretty easily. So high speed connectors need circuit boards. So I'm gonna grab, I think I have a storage unit for that over here, I hope. That's stators. Yeah, okay. I'll grab a couple hundred circuit boards. I'm gonna need them for the supercomputers too. And then HMFs are in this one. And then I can hopefully just craft those high-speed connectors. I'm going to need a bunch more quick wire. That's the problem with high-speed connectors. It's all the quick wire you need. Okay. I've pretty much avoided needing Caterium for any of my builds so far. And that's probably not a good thing. There's actually a Caterium computer alternate that's very strong. And I would like to use that one. Um, I'm going to ditch all this coal because currently it's in my way. So I can make more room for high-speed connectors. Alright. So now I can craft 50 of them. That's a little better. So we'll get the 40 that we need and then... How many did I need per supercomputer? That's the real question. I need three per supercomputer. Oh, that's a lot. But honestly, and I feel like I do this every time, it still might be faster to just craft 150 high-speed connectors than actually set up automation for it. So I think because I'm just trying to get to nuclear power, I, I and maybe I'll remember to do it off camera this time, 
But I think I will just craft 150 of these. It, that's only going to take like 5 or 10 minutes. And that's certainly faster than setting up new connections for all this stuff. I guess if I just use materials I'm already making, I could maybe do it. But all of my circuit boards are currently going into computers. So I don't have extra circuit boards. So I would have to craft even more circuit boards, which would be a little bit of a pain because I don't have more pla Well, I do have more plastic, but I'd have to make more copper sheets and it, yeah. It just becomes a mess. So I think for now, to get those 50 supercomputers, I'm just gonna handcraft the HSCs. So that will be that. And then what else do I need? Looks like I'm ready. Oh wait, I only needed 40, not 50. Oh well, at this point we'll just make 50. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is place my extra quick wire in here because I'm gonna need it in a minute. And I also need to put all this biomass somewhere. And we've got some sulfur we don't want, and that looks good. Okay. Uh, what else are we doing? Drone port. We're going to need to build two drones. We're going to need a miner. We're going to need three of these. Two for the miner mark two, and one for each drone, so I need four. Oh wait, we only need one drone. I'm being dumb. Not two drones. I think. Uh, trash. We want drone ports, which is in transportation. And then two drones, which need motors, AI limiter. Yep, okay. I've got it all. Sweet. Oh man, I'm so excited for drones. This is gonna be sweet. Uh, I'm gonna grab some more concrete because we're gonna build a big platform. Or at least a medium sized platform. And I'll use my jetpack to fly over there. Now we are going to have to get batteries all the way over here. Now, ironically, I could use drones to transport batteries. But is that insanity? Potentially. So this is already an area I don't come out to very often. And I think if I go just even farther, that... Can kind of ignore the radiation a little bit. All right. I think this is where I will build my nuclear plant. Is in this region. My drone port will be here, and this is where it will land. Ooh, okay, so it's a little big. There we go. We'll need to get some power out here. Oh, transfer rate, incoming transfer rate. I wish trains had that. Why don't trains have that? That's so cool. This looks fancy. I just wish it didn't cost batteries. Because there's just not a ton of sulfur on the map. But I get that they wanted to make it more interesting than it just costing power. Because if all they took was power, they would clearly be the optimal, you know, best way to do it. So I get that they didn't want to do that, but would have been kind of nice. Is that actually connected to power? I don't think it is. Uh, but now it is. So that should power up that drone port, I think. Yes. These are handy blade runners. 
Okay, so this drone port is... Well, we're gonna need batteries. And then we're gonna need a drone. Must snap to a drone port. Oh, okay. So, hover pack. Okay, so drone. Ooh, cool. So this now has a drone. And let's feed it the batteries, I guess. Alright, so then we're going to need a drone port and a bunch more batteries. So I guess I should start building the battery belt, which needs to be incoming. Looks like this is designed to receive batteries, if the icon is to be believed. So we'll just run this belt. this direction. Oh yeah, I guess I could just hover back, can't I? Okay. So we'll have to bring batteries to here, which I can probably do around the side here. I guess I'll do that at some point. Maybe I'll do that off camera. That's pretty boring. But I'll need to bring a belt all the way over. Uh, but right now, what I'm going to do is go... Uh, what do I do first? I need to go actually mine the uranium ore. And maybe I'll let batteries build up while I do that. And then I'll come back and add more batteries. And then we can see what we've got going on. I wonder how bad, how many batteries I already have. We have... Oh, we have 240. Okay. Well, I'm going to go feed these batteries to the drone port then. Just so that the drone has enough. And then I'm going to keep about 50 of them. Just in case. Because I actually don't know for a fact that you don't need batteries on both ends. I'm assuming batteries on one end is good enough. Because otherwise that would mean you would need to establish battery transport to a drone port down the middle of nowhere. And if that's how they've set this up, I'm going to be pretty frustrated. Because that's a crappy system. Right? Like, you should be able to just have batteries at the one location. So, I'm assuming that's how it is until I see otherwise. That was a quick trip. Okay, batteries will feed you a full stack of 200. And then I probably need a launching belt to go back from when I'm over here. And now let's go get some uranium ore. If I can build this belt. You only need batteries on one end. Ah, thank you, Irondell. That is helpful knowledge. I assume that was the case, but I was like, you never know. Sometimes this game works a little bit different than I'd expect. Alright, so we need to find uranium. I guess I should scan for uranium. I can't scan for uranium. I have to unlock nuclear power first. Right. I do remember generally where it was, though. Don't I? There's only uranium in a few places on the map. Ah, well, there's some up there. I, I remember climbing up to the top of that. But I'm pretty sure there's uranium somewhere on this upper pink forest area, somewhere in this mess. I'm trying to think. I guess I could just pull up the website to find it. And we'll go... We'll go that way. You can call me a cheater because I don't actually have uranium scanning unlocked, but... You know, if I had played this game once previously, I would know where it is. Alright, so I want to launch... 
pretty much straight to the north. So let's set this up. We're launching. And do I have everything I need? I mean, all I need is a drone port, right? Which we have what we need to build. And power, which we have not enough cables, actually. I should get more cables. I'm glad I looked at that. Who knows, I might have had to have found random copper deposits just to craft more cables out in the wild. Alright, so we'll do that. Fly up here. And then we will launch our way to the north. We need to get all the way up there again. Which is actually where our train goes, I think. Hello, doggo. You can tame those little guys, but I've never really been very good at that. Wow, this is just all the berries right here. Okay, so we want to go this way. Where's my train? I thought the train was around here somewhere. Oh, it is. It's like just over here. I can hear it. There it is. Oh, now's my chance to try out the hazmat suit and see if it does, in fact, protect me from poison or just the uranium stuff. Oh, it doesn't. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. I'm sorry, but I shouldn't have to use a separate type of filter. Yeah, I mean, I guess it technically makes sense because radiation and poison are different things. So I'll give that to them. But it's also like a hazmat suit. So you'd think you could walk in poison gas and be fine. You know, isn't that kind of the point of a hazmat suit? That's that's just the type of game design where I'm like, I I get it, but I also don't. Like, why not just give the player the ability to put on the hazmat suit? And now it can be against radiation and poison gas. Is that, like, really... Is that overpowered? I don't feel like that's overpowered. Alright, I'll stop complaining. Um, so, I'm gonna pull up a web page real quick. just to check out where the uranium actually is. Because I think there's one in the middle of the map. Okay, so I'm looking, sorry I can't share it. I don't have it set up correctly for that today, but I'm almost there. I'm looking at uranium. There is some uranium. There's actually two. Um, it's over to the southeast of that spider web looking. And then there's one underground by the giant lake in the southeast. Okay, so it's just to the south edge of Okay, I'm trying to kind of memorize what I'm seeing. Okay, so here, if we follow this little river, it's it's in this area. I think like right here. So from where I am now, I basically just need to go north and a little bit west. So what I'll probably do is ride the little power grid up and then I'll connect power poles all the way over to the uranium. And then we'll build a drone, a drone platform, and from there we should be able to start sending uranium back home without the hassle of a train or a tractor or a uh, belt. 
So that'll be nice. Okay, so yeah, I think it's just right here. So hopefully we'll be able to connect up power. Uh, of course, we need our foundation trick. Probably gonna get assaulted by lots of things that want to kill me on this trip. This area seems to be covered in like the big hogs and spiders and who knows what else. Poison. I also should. Oh dang! I wonder if I need um, nobelisks. I should have brought some. I didn't even think about it. Yep, there's a spider right there. I see him. Shoot, I don't want to have to deal with him, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use the fact that I can fly and he can't to my advantage. Like I think I can land in a tree, you know? So can't get me up here, jerk. Okay. I don't know exactly where it is, but I think we're getting closer. Yeah. Oh, he found me. Shoot. Okay. Oh, jeez. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Oh my gosh. Come back here so I can hit you like a man. Oh my gosh. Now there's poison everywhere. I'm just. I'm moving. Moving over here. Where there's radiation and more enemies. Okay. We did not come well prepared. Let's just say that. So what I'm going to do... Is build a... An equipment workshop. And we're going to make... Please tell me I can make a rebar gun. I just need 100 screws. Okay. Yeah, we're going to make some rebar. <laughs> and I need a ranged weapon, and I'm out of ammo. And I need rubber and gunpowder for that, so... We need to do some rebar shooting. And I need to make a craft bench for the screws. So we need 100 screws. I really should have brought some ammo, that was a mistake. I knew there were lots of dangerous bad guys up here. Alright, 92 and 100. So we'll make a rebar gun. Hopefully that can help me survive all the deadly enemies around here. Probably should make a little more than 50. Okay, so then I think the uranium is right around there on the ground, actually. But I need to go get my connection. What the heck? They're shooting me from over there. Okay. Well, there's lots of berries here, so I, I might actually need these. So I'm going to grab all of them. And then we are going to get to full health. And then we need to switch out the rifle for the rebar gun, because I don't have rifle ammo. And then I need to go get reconnected to the power grid that I kind of left unattended. So that's down here somewhere. Where did I build the last power pole? There it is. Then we'll connect that to over there. And connect that to there. Hopefully we can... 
shoot the bad guys without getting killed by the bad guys. Where even are they? Here they are. Try to not get hit by these turds. Okay, I killed that one. Thankfully, the rebar gun does quite a bit of damage. Uh, where is the other guy? Where did he go? There he is. This radiation is not doing me any favors. But I don't want to put on the hazmat suit because I value the jetpacking ability quite highly if that spider were to come and try to kill me. Oh, there's the uranium. It's right there. Cover. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see all those spiders? Holy crap. Okay, so what I need to do is put on the hazmat suit because we die in. I shouldn't be doing this. I thought this would be a good idea to get rid of the radiation. And then I can just ditch the uranium. Shouldn't that lower radiation levels? What? Why are they still so high? Did I just discover some wonderful feature of the game that if you put radi put uh, uranium ore in the trash, it like kills you. Am I crazy? I'm not holding any more uranium ore, am I? Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. What? How do I fix this? That's gotta be a glitch, right? Oh, jeez. I'm gonna die out here because of this. Because I don't know how to fix this. I assumed I could trash here anymore. I think that was a bad assumption. Because I'm not close enough to the uranium to be getting radioactivity anymore. There's like no uranium over here. Well, I have 40. Oh, he's back. Freaking crap. Oh my gosh, this thing died. Oh no! Shoot! Well, there it is. Uh, okay, well, here we are. And my body is in the middle of bad, dangerous land. Okay, well, unfortunately, I don't know if I have the time that I need to undo all of this. But we'll, we'll try. Um, I don't need those. I do need these do need the basics here. We are going to build a new rebar gun. So we're going to take some screws. Um, what do I actually need with all of this? Need some equipment. Do need wire. Might need foundation and cable. Okay, so I'm going to craft I'm going to need to craft a new jetpack. I'm going to need to get some fuel. Oh, man. And I still don't understand what happened with the uranium ore. But then the spider got to me, and I'd already taken some damage from unequipping my hazmat suit for just a second, but then I took tons of radiation damage. So that kind of all just went wrong right in a row. Ugh, and I'm gonna need... I think I'll be fine without a gas mask. And I'll just grab the hazmat suit from my dead body. But I do want to build a rebar gun, I think. Just to have that and a jetpack. And then I'll want to take some food. And then a jetpack requires what? 
50 plastic, 50 rubber, 15 circuit board, 5 motor. Okay. Plastic, rubber, circuit board, motor. So motor is here. Take some of those. Plastic and rubber is way that way. The circuit boards are up here. Man, that, that area is pretty intense, but I still don't I don't totally understand what happened with that uranium ore. I'm gonna have to to Google that, but I'm guessing there's some sort of clause that says like, oh, if you decide you want to trash uranium, the game poops all over you by giving you radiation poisoning for 13 hours. I'm imagining that it would wear off over a certain amount of time, but it probably gives you a certain number of seconds per uranium that you trash. Those are just complete guesses, but it seems maybe how you program it if you did something like that. So because I trashed like 60 uranium ore that I mined from that little node, that ended up being very bad for me. Um, okay, so equipment workshop, and I need a jetpack. And then I need food, and then I need the rebar gun, which needs six reinforced iron plates. Okay. So we'll put the jetpack, go flying. I need a few plates, which are here. I finally remembered where something is. And then we'll grab some food, which I have plenty of. I think I will take food in the form of berries this time. And then we'll craft another rebar gun. Hopefully we can get back to our dead body. Because last time we died, I discovered that if you quit the game, your dead body symbol disappears. Or at least that's what happened to me back in Experimental. That's, that crate symbol went away, and I had to find the crate uh, manually, which was not easy, because it was also like four days later that I started the game up again, and I was like, oh shoot, I have no idea where I died. So that was not fun. Oh wait, I do need one more thing. Ah, come back. Look at that perfect 180. I need the little zipline thing is what I need. And that requires a Xeno Zapper and Quick Wire. So I can make a zapper, but I don't have any quick wire, so. Let's grab some quick wire. Gosh dang it, I'm still mad that I died. I was so confident I was gonna be fine, and then I just got pooped on by those spiders. Those things are horrible. I really do need the rifle. The rifle's way more effective at killing those spiders. But, whatever. Uh, what am I doing? I need equipment workbench. Zipline. Okay, so we'll equip that. And I think we should be able to get back fairly quickly. Now that we know where we're going. that perfect landing. Although I didn't bring any uh, all cloud aluminum sheets, so I can't build new launching pads. So that's fine. We'll just go the long way, I guess. Uh, it's a beautiful evening on the whatever world this is. I do like that those plants regrow. Um, that's a, another change they made, I think a while back, but for a long time, plants didn't respawn, which meant there's technically a limited number of consumables, which was not good. 
But now, plants and enemies respawn, so... There's technically infinite food. Which is nice. I don't know if the bacon agaric respawns, though. But I, I do know that these barrel nuts respawn. And I'm pretty sure that pale berries respawn as well. But that's another one where... Like, I don't know if I've actually sat there and paid attention to grabbing the same pale berries. But I'm pretty sure they respawn. Okay, this time we are going to be more careful. We're going to build foundations up above our enemies. And we are going to shoot rebar down at them until they're dead. And that will help me be victorious. So first order of business is reclaiming the hazmat suit and all my resources and equipment. And then once we do that, we are going to kill all those freaking spiders because there's like 80 of them down by the uranium. So that's not fun. I guess the zeroth order of business is don't die. That's really what we need to accomplish more so than anything else. I don't know if I can accomplish it, but we'll do our best. I'm just going to keep riding these power lines, because this seems to be a pretty good way to get back to where we died. It's actually extremely fun. Like, this is such a fun way to get around. Okay, hold on. I'm going to stop here. I think I'm safe. And do what? What, do I, what can I actually do? I want to get foundations at the ready. I want to put that on 8, just because I don't even have anything on 8 yet. And this dude needs to die. Is he coming up here? Where'd he go? Where did he go? See, this is exactly what I hate, is this, like, these spiders, man. They get everywhere. Here, I'll just... I'll go onto a little tower. I don't care if this is cheesing the enemies. Where did he go? Okay, he's gone. Whatever. Okay, moving towards the crate. Oh, freaking poison, man. Of course there's poison. Okay, so the crate is this way. There's all these poison plants. Millions of poison plants. Like I need some safety and elevation here. Yep, I see one of the big spiders. I see you. Oh man, I am just not a fan of these guys. They are so creepy looking. Hey, at least I can just shoot you from a safe distance. One down. Oh, glitching out. These take a lot of shots. Jeez. You know, I'm really glad these can't climb walls. I think if they could climb walls, I would just poop my pants regularly. Yeah, the rebar gun is not good for these guys just because they move so erratically and quickly. It's hard to get consistent shots on them. I think this guy should be dead by now, though. I swear I've hit him like 10 times. Like, what? How, how are you still alive? 
shot you like a million times. Finally, oh my gosh. That was insane. I actually need to make more ammo after that. Um, which I can only make a hundred of, so I better make it count, I guess. That should be enough, though. Okay, we are close to the crate. It's just down there. So I'm going to build another little safety tower over there. Okay, the crate is right there. So I should be able to just fly down, grab it. Didn't quite get everything. Uh, sort. We do want to equip a few more things in our hands, I guess. Aha. See? Here they are. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. There's so many of them. Okay, what if I come up here? Can they attack me? Doesn't look like it. Oh my gosh, they're climbing on top of each other. <laughs> it's hideous. There's four of them. Uh, this is what I get for dealing with the closer uranium, I guess. I really should have brought some bombs. I didn't think about it, but looking back, this would be much easier if I just had some novelists. So the game is so laggy. I don't know if it's just the the number of legs that they have, <laughs> but it gets super laggy when I'm looking at them. Where did he go? Did he just jump on the ceiling? What is going on here? It's nightmare fuel right here, let me tell you. This seems like a good deal. You just stay right there. Come back, please. How did he get up there? How? I want to know. He probably jumped. These things can jump. Oh, and glitch. Okay, we're getting close. At least three of them are dead now, and soon I assume this one will be dead with my frame rate of three frames a second. Okay, now he's dead. And you mean to tell me there's a new one? Oh my gosh. Holy cow, that was intense. Okay, we're gonna get rid of a little quick wire. Gonna equip that. And there's still some stuff I can't grab. Why not? I guess I have too much junk in my inventory. Let's get rid of the screws. Let's get rid of some empty canisters. Definitely don't want those. And we still need the hazmat suit. So let's get rid of some iron rods. Okay. There we go. Got all of our stuff back. Got a lot of alien organs. Gosh. Okay, well that was absolutely insane. Let me tell you what. Okay, but the good news is we should have everything we need now. Being a little bit more careful in this process. But where's the power line that I have? There's one over here, isn't there? Yeah, okay. So I do go over here. 
Oh yeah, there's radiation. That's why I died. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Foundations. I'm gonna try to get away from the radiation. Doesn't really seem like I can. So let's just put on the hazmat suit. And do some eating. Okay. So... I am going to need to get down there. To actually get the mine set up. Or maybe I don't. Maybe that's the real trick. So we just deal with it from up here. Yep, that's the real trick. There we go. Okay. So then uranium will come out there. We'll build a drone pad, kind of in this region. Okay, and I'll extend those into the walls so that it looks like it's kind of holding itself up, at least. And now we will build a drone port. Facing that way. How did a spider get over here? Go the freak away. Yeah, you fall back down there, you turd. Whew, okay, this has been a stressful trip. So connect this to power. Please tell me that that's actually working. Yes, it's powered. And then... Conveyor belt in. Oh, yep, and we need to connect the miner to power. Where is the miner? There it is. We'll have it connect to here. Connect this one. And then we should see uranium flying up here in a second. Hopefully. Yes, maybe. There it is. Check it out. Okay, the one thing I do need to do, which I'm not looking forward to is overclock that because the last thing I want to do is come back here. So I'm going to switch to a jetpack. We're going to fly down. We're going to put in some power shards. Do I not have power shards? Dag nabbit. Don't have power shards. So, what we're going to do, actually, is find some power shards. <laughs> uh, there's a power slug in this direction. Yeah, I mean, the good news is there's power slugs of yellow and purple variety up here, so... I can hopefully find... Oh, it's underneath me. There it is. So there's two power slugs, or I mean power shards. And now we just need to grab one more of any color, and that should do it for us. Probably up on top of this, where there's a freaking spider. Are you serious? How many of these spiders exist? Like, way too many. 
Can I not land up here? Here we go. I don't want to deal with you. Okay. How do I, like, legitimately not die right now? I'm gonna land on top of this. We're gonna eat some food. Switch to our rebar gun. Take the six or seven shots we have to take. Take the purple power slug. Make all of our power shards. Fully overclock the uranium miner. And then, finally, we will have our uranium. Okay, craft bench. Power shards. Of course there's not enough space in my inventory. Why would there be? All right. Here we go. This time for real. Okay, so we're just gonna float down to the top of the miner. What? Why does that bling me off? I don't understand what's happening there. So 300 per minute is a lot better than 120 per minute. And then we'll come back up to here. And there we have it. Uranium ore. I probably should don the hazmat suit for now. And this needs to be drone port to target destination drone port one. Drone port one destination this port. Drone status no drone. Well, I'm aware. Shouldn't the drone be flying here, though? Please tell me the drone is flying here. Uh, it does not look like it. Oh, wait, here it comes. It's moving. I think. I saw the pixels move. Yes, here it comes. Dang, that thing's fast. So where's it going? It's not going in the straight line. Do they do 90 degree angles, I guess? Wow, that's fast. Okay. Also, the good news is those iodine filters seem to last a while. And even if I go to something with more radiation, it still seems to last. So. All right. Where is it? Is it coming in the sky? Oh, there it is. Zoom. You can rename the drone ports, Irondale says. Ah, yes, thank you. That's probably a good idea. Um, right here. Uranium. One. Now, can I ride on the drone is the real question. Probably not. But that's not going to stop me from trying... I'm gonna need to eat some food to not die while I try this. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage that I'm taking. Come on, isn't it time for you to fly away already? Taking lots of damage. Maybe that's a bad idea. <laughs> I don't actually know if that was the radiation or the drone was the problem, but that was a little risky. Alright, well let's work our way back home. I think we finally did a thing and accomplished- oh, spiders. Man, these things are everywhere. I just can't get away from them. I hate this pink forest and everything about it. There are too many spiders for my liking. Anything greater than zero is too many. Ugh, okay. Well, we did it. We got uranium. I'm going home. I'm 
going freaking home. And then in the next episode, which will hopefully be either this weekend. Actually, I know it'll be this weekend. I've got some some free time on Saturday, so I'll definitely be streaming this weekend. Um, probably sometime Saturday afternoon or evening. And I will be working towards those 50 supercomputers so that we can actually get nuclear power going. And then, yeah, that'll be great. So we'll we'll get some serious nuclear power just for fun. And then after that, we'll see what happens. I'm intending to try... I mean, I don't know how much longer I'll be streaming Satisfactory. I feel like I've gotten a good taste of Update 4 and gotten some good enjoyment out of it. I don't know if Satisfactory is the kind of game where I have the drive to build a mega base. Um, Factorio, I feel a lot more motivated to like actually do big builds. Big builds in Satisfactory, they're just kind of painful to me because you have to manually place every splitter, every conveyor belt, every building. They're very satisfying, you know, as the name implies, to accomplish, but it's just pretty tedious for me. And as much as I love this game and the beauty of it and just the just the feel, I love the feel of this game. Um, doing big factory builds is not my favorite part of it. I like the progression. I like unlocking new things. So after nuclear power, we'll see how much farther we go. I've kind of done everything. I've done trains. I've done drones. Once we do nuclear power, there's not too much left to do. It looks like there's minor Mark threes, but those are only helpful, you know, in order to get obviously more resources to do even bigger builds. Um, I don't know. Let's get back to base. I'll take a look at the the rest of the technologies we have yet to unlock and then we'll we'll log off after that. I'm also going to grab some more berries on the way back because I used a lot of them standing on top of that radioactive drone. Get out of my way, jerk. Watch where you're going. Okay, well, we made it home after that long debacle. That was intense, to say the least. That was so many spiders. So many spiders. <laughs> horrible, horrible, horrible things. There's also an arachnophobia mode in this game, if you've never played it, that turns them into these, like, just, like, kind of funny, stupid-looking cat sprites. So they just, like, they're just, like, this circular picture of a cat that they don't even really render correctly. Um, so that's kind of funny. But, okay, so the only things we even have left to unlock are nuclear fuel, which is all of this, which we'll do in the next episode. Advanced aluminum production, which allows for new intermediates, but these things don't do anything in particular. And then there's the resource well pressurizer, which allows you to like pressurize the nitrogen nodes and get that. And then there's leading edge production, which allows you to make turbo motors, Mark III miners, and another project assembly thing. And then there's particle enrichment, which gives you the option to make uh, plutonium fuel rods, which are even more fuel. And that's pretty much it, because all of this stuff is just for the... We looked at it a while back. The project assembly uh, phase four. And so this is like, quote unquote, beating the game. And I don't know, maybe at some point I'll have the motivation to work towards that. But I feel like I'm not going to have the motivation to work towards that right now. Because you really do have to build a mega factory for this. Um, and that could be a fun build to do at some point, but I don't think I'm going to do that. So I'll probably, we're probably looking at three to six more satisfactory episodes in total. And then I think I'm going to move on to the next thing, which... Uh, if you have any thoughts on what you want the next thing to be, let me know in the comments. I'm considering... Well, I'm considering a few things. Uh, the first of which is called Oxygen Not Included, which is a game that some of you may know about. It's a little bit like uh, Dwarf Fortress meets... Um, 
I don't even know what you'd say it meets, but it's a little bit like Dwarf Fortress. You have these little dudes and you control where they go. Um, try to establish a, a surviving colony. So I might do Oxygen not included. I'm also considering just playing more Factory on Twitch along with uh, Factorio. Did I say Factory? I meant to say Factorio. Uh, more Factorio on Twitch as well as Factorio in YouTube videos, maybe doing something different than Planetons. The downside to that is I'm going to have to constantly change which mods are installed, which is, to be honest, a pain in the butt, especially with Pyanodons. All the Pyanodons mods, it takes my computer like four or five minutes to launch Factorio, or maybe three. I'm probably exaggerating, but it feels like forever when the normal game launches in like 10 seconds. Um, I'm also considering Kerbal Space Program. That's one of my favorites. Um, a very different kind of game, though, so I'm not... I'm not totally sure if that would be entertaining to stream or not. It's a game I definitely enjoy playing, but I don't know how entertaining it is to watch. Because there's a lot of math and... Well, there doesn't have to be math, but literally rocket physics. Um, and there's another game that I'm forgetting for some reason that's on my list that I'm considering playing as well. But if you have any thoughts on Oxygen Not Included or a new Factorial mod pack or you want me to keep playing Satisfactory, I could probably be convinced if there's something you want to see. Um, but I'm planning on getting to nuclear power, getting that set up, and then probably calling it quits. Not necessarily immediately after that, but probably soon after that. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you're watching on YouTube, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think about the next uh, Twitch series. Obviously, if you've been paying attention, I've also been playing Creeper World 4, but that's kind of a separate, just for fun game, and that's not the main game I'm playing. I try to keep the Tuesday-Thursday stream to be the same game, and then if I have a secondary game that I'm enjoying, I'll stream that too. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time.